Hello guys, welcome back to the Brutal Master channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. In this episode, we're going to talk about yet another interesting short term project that in my opinion has a good potential. And this project is called Element Black or ELT token, right? Again, as always guys, I highly recommend you guys to do your own research on any of the projects we cover in our channel. And for this project, I recommend you guys to go to the website element.black in order to learn more about this, in order to more, learn more about this project, right? So, with regards to the ELT project, uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to rely on the information present on CoinMarketCap's page for this token, along with the information present on the website itself. But this is only going to be a peripheral analysis, which means you need to do your own in-depth research before you put your hard-earned money on this token, right? So, what is Element Black? Element Black is a social fi NFT game development platform with the mission to build a NFT 2.0 or create to earn ecosystem. So when it comes to um, NFT projects, there's a lot of projects that are non social fi in nature and that's kind of like the majority of the uh, NFT projects. But Element Black aims to be the social uh, or social finance uh, NFT project uh, that aims to create a platform to build NFT 2.0 or to create a uh, create to earn ecosystem, right? So, which means you create uh, and the more you create, the more you are rewarded for that, right? Element Black strives to become a Pugsy NFT uh, distribution platform of the new age and the bridge to connect Web 2.0 celebrities and fashion brands with Web 3.0 NFT social experiences. So, they are basically a platform that main, uh, aims to become a distribution platform of the new age and uh, connect web 2.0 celebrities and influencers uh, or fashion brands with web 3.0 NFT social experiences thereby uh, you know basically uh, assuring a new era of NFTs in, in, the, in the web 3.0 space right so that's the main focus of element black ELT which is the native token provides a unique and rewarding gaming ecosystem that encourages the creation and trading of metaverse digital assets and facilitates the social engagements with global celebrities and KOL. So, uh, their token, K, uh, the KLT, sorry, ELT token, uh, basically provides a unique and uh, rewarding gaming ecosystem. So, they're trying to provide a very unique experience with the, their token itself. And this basically enables the creation or encourages the creation and trading of metaverse digital assets and facilitates social engagement. So, they're trying to facilitate social engagements between its users um, with global celebrities as well as KOL. So, these are all the main um, social fi aspects that Element Black has to offer. ELT has development two uh, NFT co-creation co platforms, Pixel Infinity and Music Infinity. So, they have um, the Element uh, Black project itself has two uh, NFT co-creation platforms. So, there are two basic NFT platforms uh, such as Pixel Infinity and Music Infinity. So, these are the two co-created platforms of Element Black. So, out of which Pixel Infinity is a collaboration based NFT creator. Uh, Pixel Infinity allows you to collaborate with thousands of other fans and creators to design unique pixel art NFTs and create your own pixel art NFT on a private canvas. So, what they're trying to do is with regards to the Pixel Infinity platform, uh, it is a platform that is uh, created to ensure collaboration between creators. So, it's a collaboration based NFT creator platform uh, that allows co uh, collaboration with thousands of fans with their creators in order to design a unique pixel NFT that you can actually build uh, on your own with their uh, private canvas. So, basically they offer private canvases to the users uh, which the users can collaborate with the creators or um, you know their uh, the content creators itself in order to create their own pixel art on a private canvas which is quite unique because not a lot of other projects allows you to create your own nft w within their their ecosystem itself unless you choose to create uh, your own nfts using platforms like OpenSea. Um, or looks rare and so on and so forth, uh, you know, but unlike those platforms, Element Black allows you to collaborate with your creator to create your own art, right, which is very unique and that's something I feel like uh, is going to be a trend for multiple different 
uh, NFT platforms in the future as well. So each NFT can be minted and sold on the Element Black Marketplace and you never know which celebrity may pop up and collaborate with you. So this is another interesting thing because whatever NFT art uh, that you create on, on your Element Black platform by collaborating with the content creator, you are able to list it on the Element Black mm, mm, uh, kind of marketplace itself, which you uh, basically can use to get more celebrity cooperations in the future. So this is where the social fi element of this platform comes into play, where you're using your creativity to collaborate with other celebrities to further increase your creativity and get exposure as well. So you kind of become a mini celebrity by getting recognized for your work within the Element Black platform, right? So that's where the Pixel Infinity platform comes into play, which is a sub-platform of uh, the Element Black, uh, Element Black ecosystem, right? So the second platform is Music Infinity, which is bringing social collaboration to the music industry. So they basically um, have a Pixel um, kind of like a Infinity as a platform for collaborating uh, for users with the, the, the uh, uh, NFT creators uh, and interacting with celebrities, but the music uh, infinity platform is to do pretty much the exact same thing as um, the Pixel, uh, you know, infinity platform, but it collaborates uh, with the music industry. So you specifically do this with the music industry. With music infinity, you can co-create and edit original songs with other creators and major artists using uh, Element Black's custom NFT studio. So again, as like before. Uh, instead of collaborating to create your own art, you create your music by collaborating with the creator. So that's the, that's the major difference here with this platform. And fans will be able to unlock mystery boxes containing exclusive music from celebrity artists. So, uh, you know, unlike uh, the Pixel Infinity platform, you are actually able to unlock mystery boxes created by other celebrities, thereby increasing the collaboration of, um, you, you know, your music with their music, right? So that's kind of like the overall goal of Element Black platform. So now that we covered the quick overview of this platform, let's go to the website itself, which is element.black. And right off the bat, you have a pretty cool website where they have this, uh, you know, uh, option where, you, you know, you can uh, see how visually they're representing their platform. Uh, and if you see, there's this beautiful artwork here where uh, if you scroll further below, they basically say, first of all, welcome uh, to Element Black. And the next page, if you scroll, they mention to you about, um, you know, how it is a revolutionary platform that enables creation, collaboration, and co-ownership of digital assets. Uh, from pixel art to music, Element Black is a first of its kind. So that's the main focus of their platform, as we discussed. If you scroll further below, they have uh, information about mining their ELT tokens, which if you recollect, is a very important uh, token for their ecosystem. Uh, so ELT tokens will be automatically awarded to each holder's wallet for every eight hours spent using Element Black uh, products. So, uh, if you can actually earn ELT tokens by spending hours or, or, you know, spending your time and attention on their platform and you will be automatically rewarded tokens for the number of times you spend, uh, depending on the amount of times you spend on the Element Black platform itself, right? So that's pretty cool and that's one of the main ways you can mint or mine this particular token, right? So the Element Black uh, roadmap is presented here. So they are having a very ambitious roadmap. You can go through that on their website yourself. Uh, it is mainly aimed at expanding the project to multiple other collaborators and uh, celebrities, as well as trying to um, create a platform that is recognized and uh, create a brand for themselves, for their marketplace, right? So that, those are some of the main important um, um, you know, achievements that they're trying to uh, uh, you know, achieve within the roadmap itself. So if you scroll further below, you can see uh, they have uh, Pixel Infinity, which is currently live as of now, uh, and the Music Infinity is still in development. So Music Infinity, if you recollect, is going to be similar to Pixel Infinity, but the only thing is that you will be able to collaborate with creators to uh, kind of like promote and, uh, you know, list your music as an NFT itself, right? So which is pretty cool. And if you scroll further below, um, you know, you can access the social media information along with uh, you know, their product itself. And if you want to learn more about how Music Infinity works, because that's something that's going to be coming up pretty soon, you can click on the last button here about Music Infinity, which will tell you a lot about how they're planning to work that way, right? So that's pretty much it when it comes to the website. It's a pretty cool and elegant website. Obviously, there's a lot of information that's kind of like 
not clearly visible from the screen right now because I'm using my mobile phone to record this video. But if you go to the web version uh, on your laptop or a desktop, you'll be able to see a clear website with a lot of cool information, uh, which is very unique in my honest opinion about, um, you know, in, in the NFT space, right? So going back to the coin market cap page first token, this token is currently ranked 3214th by market cap and coin market cap and the token ELT token is currently trading at 3.2 cents at the time I'm making this video. So again, uh, just so you know, this token can be mined on their platform by just uh, spending time on their platform and depending on how long you spend, you'll be earning this token automatically on your wallet. So you'll be earning this token for free technically and you'll be earning uh, about 3 cents. Uh, if you earn one token, it's about 3 cents for I'm making this video, right? So in the past 24 hours, the token has been going up slightly, uh, close to 5% in gains in the past 24 hours. It's not really bad uh, for a project that is extremely low in market cap. Uh, it's extremely low in market cap to a point where coin market cap hasn't even listed this market cap on their platform, which means it has probably less than $5 million in market cap at, that, at any given point of time. Uh, if you're watching this video at a later date, the market cap would have increased, thereby reflecting it on the price of this token. But for now, the market cap is definitely somewhere less than uh, or slightly greater than $5 million, but definitely less than $10 million in market cap, right? So if you scroll further below, they have a max supply of 4 billion tokens. Again, it's a huge token supply uh, with the circulating supply currently unknown. Again, I can definitely assure you that the circulating supply is probably going to be less than 5% uh, of the max supply, which is probably going to make this token one of the most um, inflationary tokens out there where the risk of uh, you know price, appre price appreciation um, is definitely going to be hindered in the mid to long term because of the huge number of tokens that will be dumped into the market, right? Uh, despite that, I still, I still believe that this project is a good short-term buy because there's definitely uh, a lot of opportunity for the token to increase in market cap. And once this is increasing in market cap, you can definitely expect the token volatility to go up and down, which will be opportunities for you to buy low and sell high, right? Uh, but I don't think this is a good uh, mid to long term project that you should hold uh, because the tokenomics is clearly explaining to you that there's a huge amount of tokens as uh, some supply and you will definitely get burnt out um, if uh, you know, the project is not catching up uh, or if the project is not being used uh, in, in the mid to long term, right? But for now, it's definitely a good short term project to uh, look into. So when it comes to the charts itself, again, you can clearly see the effect of tokenomics is already taking place on this token. Uh, it seems like a lot of dumping has happened because of the huge supply and a lot of people don't really find a major incentive to hodl this token because think about this, this token is literally being given out to people for free and that's one of the reasons why they have such a huge supply. So if you use their platform, you definitely get this token for free, right? And you know anybody who has received an airdrop can tell you that when they see a token for free they're, they're most likely going to dump it because that's the logical option because you don't really want to um, you know uh, wait on a token w which is extremely volatile and it is also something that could significantly lose in uh, value especially in the current uh, you know market situations right so uh, that's why if you do end up uh, using their platform you will get ELT tokens which again at this price point, if you either buy or earn this ELT tokens, uh, you can probably hold on to it for a short term because you can easily see that this token has increased in value, uh, you know, a couple of times in the past where this token has went as high as uh, 6 cents from a low of, uh, you know, uh, 2.5 uh, 2 cents, right? So it definitely has made some short term gains. So I would not recommend you to sell this token. But for people who are looking to buy this token, this is definitely a good token to buy, right? But when it comes to the price itself, the token was initially worth 14 cents per token as of 20th of April 2022. But it almost quickly fell down in price to reach an all time low of 2.5 cents per token as of uh, 1st of um, May 2022. And the token immediately after reaching its all time low, it did bounce back to a price of uh, 6 cents per token. In fact, 6.2 or 6.9 cents per token as of 9th of uh, May 2022. So, people who bought it at this price point, 2.6 cents or 2.5 cents, uh, and people who sold uh, at the price of uh, 6.9 cents uh, have made some good gains. But obviously, after the high, the low comes in and the token went back to its. Um, uh, price of 3.4, 2.7 uh, uh, dollars per token, 2.7 cents per token, and then it kind of moved sideways and made a sharp peak. It seems like this activity is probably because of a pump and dump, but the token did go as high as 6 cents per token again, or close to 4.7, uh, uh, 5.2 uh, uh, cents per token before reaching back down. 
to its new all time highs of 2.4 cents per token so obviously the token is moving um, you know slightly above its all time lows but it definitely is a good opportunity to buy this token because two things this is a very low market cap token which means even a small amount of money coming into this project will reflect significantly high, highly in its price which is one of the pr probably the reason why a lot of people are seeing the price appreciation of 5% in a day because this token did go to its all time low and a whole bunch of people would have probably bought this token thereby increasing its price to 3.9 cents per token or 3.2 cents per token right so a small amount of uh, you know in capital can move the price of this token significantly so if you buy this token and hold on at this price point you are probably going to you know um, have to react quick when the price goes up because i think this token can easily retest the 6 cents or even reach as high as 6.5 cents in the next coming weeks right another reason to look into this product is that if you see the all time highs which was um, you know at 15 cents per token this token is clearly uh, at its all time low so if you um, if, if you buy this token at this price point you can definitely make at least a 2 to 3x gains in the really quick short term which definitely makes this token a really good short term to invest into right that's one of the reasons why i feel like this is a really good token for the short term uh, you know uh, price range so when it comes to the bitcoin competitor itself you can pretty much say the exact same thing for a bitcoin competitor uh, as a green dollar competitor because the price has pretty much uh, one is to one correlation with uh, in a dollar competitive with Bitcoin competitive uh, being a little bit more volatile because of its nature but the initial price was uh, 339 satoshis per token uh, and then it went to an all time low initial all time low of uh, 71 satoshis per token reached a high of uh, 20, 222 satoshis per token and then now it's currently trading at uh, you know 11 satoshis per token so it seems like this token is at its all time low or close to its all time low in the bitcoin competitive as well but i would really not recommend you to buy this token with bitcoin competitive because you are definitely buying the, this token uh, with a very scarce uh, coin uh, such as bitcoin and this token is literally a huge um, has a huge supply and therefore it's going to be uh, completely unwise for you to use a scarce coin like bitcoin to buy a completely inflationary token like elt token uh, thereby increasing your risk a lot but that doesn't mean that you can uh, obviously not make some good gains in your satoshis you can definitely buy this token at low uh, uh, 7 satoshis or 11 satoshis at this uh, price point and then sell it at uh, you know 100 or 200 satoshis per token to make some good gains but that's definitely a high risk option for newcomers so if you're a newcomer i would suggest you to stick with the dollar competitive if you are an experienced trader then if this is definitely a good time to invest in this token with bitcoin competitive and you can definitely make some significant satoshi gains with uh, bitcoin competitive right but again that's just my opinion guys or finished advice when it comes to the markets itself this token is definitely available uh, for purchase in a couple of major exchanges which includes uh, Bybit and OKX. Uh, BitChat is not a popular exchange so I definitely try to avoid uh, buying anything from BitGet or BitChat uh, but you can definitely uh, look into buying this token from Bybit or OKX right. Uh, obviously you don't really have any Bitcoin uh, comparators as of now so you can't really buy this token with Bitcoins even if you want to. Uh, because all the three exchanges have only listed this token with the USDT trading pair. So this is a good thing for now because since this token is really volatile, a Bitcoin comparative may be a kind of like a death sentence for a lot of newcomers who don't really know what they're doing. So this is good to prevent people from buying this token with Bitcoin comparative. But as this token starts getting more and more momentum, um, you will see uh, other exchanges such as Keratio or MXC and maybe even Huobi Global listing this token with uh, maybe bitcoin uh, or ethereum uh, comparatives along with dollar comparatives and you can see a lot of trading volume in btc comparative as well right but for now uh, usdt is the only option to buy this token from and you can buy this token from bybit on okx so if you take another look at this uh, list of exchange you can only see that uh, a few exchanges have listed this token not even gate.io or uh, you know uh, kucoin or huobi global have listed this token which definitely indicates that you are still early into this project and um, maybe when a few more exchanges start listing this token you can see some price spikes because lots of new users will be exposed to this token if they list this token on multiple other exchanges and that will also be a good opportunity to sell because when a new exchange lists this token 
uh, it definitely spikes the price to maybe at least a few hundred percentages and you can sell that token uh, for a really good profit if you buy this token at this price point right but again that definitely means you have to do your own research uh, just because uh, there's an opportunity to make some quick gains it doesn't mean that you shouldn't jump into this you should jump into this right away you need to please you need to please do your research before you put your money on this token right so what's my final verdict on this token guys i think this token definitely has some really good short term price opportunities you can at least make a 2 to 3x gain right away in a few uh, weeks to a few months when this token reaches a price point of 6.5 or even 7 cents per token which definitely is a possibility because of its extremely low market cap uh, extremely low liquidity with a few exchanges being the only uh, places that you can buy this token from and a lot of potential uh, major exchanges could list this token because of how unique the project is and I wouldn't even be surprised if Binance lists this project because of uh, how the project has some really unique fundamentals which will definitely be copied by several other NFT uh, projects in the future, right? So again, that's just my personal opinion, guys, not financial advice. Um, there's definitely a lot of negative sides of this token as well. But to me, I feel like this is a really good short-term investment and I, I want to communicate this to you guys, right? So again, remember, guys, you guys are not regular investors. You guys are brutal investors, so stay brutal. Thank you very much for watching my video, guys. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. See you in my next video. Bye.